Greetings, this is Earthman from EarthmanSoil.com. God bless you. I hope you're doing well today. Today's video is a follow-up on how to grow massive sunflowers. Um, what I did is I dug a whole bunch of holes uh, in my yard. And uh, now I uh, took that soil and put it off the side. And I got a new soil mix I'm putting in there. Compost mix of um, peat, uh, perlite and um, peat moss and uh, a whole bunch of different nutrients that I have covered in other videos. Uh, different video and now what I did is I'm gonna sprinkle a little triple phosphate and some Epsom salt which will give my plant magnesium and sulfur and uh, of course phosphorus uh, right when it needs it because by time the roots get down there um, that phosphorus and potassium and uh, magnesium and sulfur are gonna be ready and this is why on top of that I'm gonna sprinkle some of my root love science and uh, What's in Root Love Science is um, bacteria specifically that break down phosphorus, bacteria that specifically break down sulfur, and bacteria that specifically break down magnesium, which is a, a wonderful product because not only does it have that, it has a nitrogen locking bacteria and a whole bunch of other um, growth promoting bacteria, and I have also in there some um, sulfur rich amino acid, which is really uh, rich in trace minerals that are nanonized. And then I have some amino acids in there, L amino acids, and uh, you know, to uh, free up calcium and also uh, assist in you know, um, uh, softening the soil, conditioning the soil. I got some humic acid and fulvic acid, which chelate uh, a bunch of different nutrients and free them up. For my plants use and also condition the soil um, so and also in the soil mix I have inoculated biochar my own compost and like I said um, vermiculite and um, uh, perlite and uh, peat moss which I uh, also treat it with a wetting agent um, and uh, you know everything's buffered with oyster shell flour so Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> there was a lot of stuff, but the main thing is on the bottom of these holes, I am going to put triple phosphate and uh, Epsom salt, and I have bacteria that's going to break that down and make it uh, ready for the food to eat. And then the humic uh, acid and the fulvic acid uh, will uh, chelate uh, those ingredients, making them available to the root system. It's incredible, guys. And um, but the proof's going to be in the pudding. Just keep following this channel and you'll see massive sunflowers and i'm telling you guys stuff you know uh that you know i don't know you can use it or, or not you know what i mean but this is what i do and so uh there you go god bless you